For Mastercam 2022, we added steady rest support for machine uh, environments for the mill turn product. There are basically two types of turrets that we support. One is a turret mounted steady rest and the other is a standalone steady rest. So let's, let's uh, talk real briefly about both of them and how to add them to your component library. So I have this component library here. I opened up my in the code meter. I launched the GMD. This is accessible to all customers. Before I add the component here, we're going to add it to this turret. I'm going to get out of here for a second. And I'm going to merge the, um, the component I'm looking for. It's going to be this file. It'll be merged into this uh, to this session of master cam and I'm going to select OK. So now that he's here and he's added, he's got he put into these uh, levels here. I'm going to go back into the machine definition and on the turret. I'm going to I'm going to right click and I'm going to say add a component, steady rest. Now this will allow me to add a turret steady rest turret turret mounted steady rest here so immediately it's already filled in the, the body of it and before I do before I go defining where it's at and so forth probably be easier if I add the smaller components so I'm gonna select add an arm make sure I read the name and the color from the solid and I'm gonna pick part of that model let's go ahead and start off with this top arm right here and the center of rotation for it is around that bore. He has and can move around 50, 50 degrees of angle and we'll go ahead and put him at a feed rate of 50. Let's go ahead and add another arm and the same thing. Pick the solid, this time we'll pick the bottom one and the center of rotation for it. And he'll have the same uh, settings right here. Now we're going to add a piston. Same selections. I'm going to pick some more components off this uh, file that I brought in. Bring in the piston. And let's just say he has a about two inches of motion here. Same feed rate. And now this one here, because he's in the Y axis. We'll leave him at 180 with the lower turret. If he was in the top turret, he'd be at 180. If we had a slant bed configuration, we would type in Y of whatever the angle of the Y axis is. But this is orthogonal to the Y, so we'll leave him, leave him at zero. Now we can go back to the actual body. I'm not gonna change the name from just the color. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick the rest of the model. And he's gonna, the center point, the program center point for him will be, he always seems to turn off that arc right there. We're going to type in the center of that. <clears throat> and then we're going to give him <coughs> a collision boundary. And then we're saying, oh, then we have to just add them to a turret. We're going to put them in turret number two and disable one and three. The adjoining tool holders will be disabled while you have this, if you have this turret mounted on, if you put this component of mounted on your turret, you don't want the adjacent tool pods to be used or flats of the turret because they'll just get in the way. Select OK, then apply to the whole thing, and we'll save this. Now it's ready to be used. Okay, so now let's look at a standalone steady rest configuration. We're back in the same spot. The only difference is we now have an LMD opened up. So to add a stand, again, like I mentioned earlier, to add a component to the GMD, you're adding essentially a different type of tool locator. We just happen to have steady rest. For LMD, we're going to actually modify the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Let's go ahead and close this down. And let's go ahead and we're going to merge 
that file that we're looking for we have a steady risk I believe he is uh, that file right there and merge him in now we have him already positioned exactly in the location of where, he, where he's at in the complete machine so if I make the rest of all these levels open there's our machine right there that is the default location for that turret he cannot travel any further toward the spindle we have about 50 inches we're going to travel right here and we're going to define that now let's go ahead and go back to the machine definition and from the unused component group here, I'm just going to take this take this group and I'm going to add it to the machine base on that group I'm going to add a linear axis I'm going to allow this steady rest to move along the Z of course he's already picked up the 50 here we're going to go ahead and select OK to that and then on that linear axis we're going to add a steady rest and we're going to go through this exactly the way we did in the previous uh, exercise we're going to add an arm make sure we select the name and the color from the solid we're going to select an arm we're going to go ahead and pick that model let's go ahead and pick this top one first the center of rotation for it if I can spin them around here and then the range I'm going to make these the same 50 at a feed rate of 50 let's go ahead and add another one I don't know why that wasn't selected we're going to add another arm pick the other arm the center of rotation for it and the range and feed rate once again now we'll go ahead and add the piston pick the solid for that same thing we're going to go ahead and give them a two inch range and we'll do the feed rate of 50 now this one because he is at an angle he's not orthogonal to Y he is 62 degrees off so once all that's defined now we're going to go back to the main body we'll go ahead and pick the body of the steady rest itself where the center point is at I'm going to say the center of that arc now we're going to give it a boundary collision boundaries and that's it the position it's just we're going to drive it off a data stream we'll say upper and we can define whether this component is removable or not we do have machines that they can't take that all off if you do not select this you're always going to see the steady risk when you go into a job setup and you start a file if you have this selected and you don't want to use a steady risk then you'll have to add it in there as you do your job setup let's be removable we'll go ahead and select OK to this apply and we'll go ahead and save the changes and we'll be ready to use this file as well